Hello everybody, Mike from Southern California again, and you're on the mic. And I've got a question for you. Is Funimation running scared? Well, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to answer that question um, in this episode today. The reason I asked that question is, as I was watching Flash's um, video, you know, Yellow Flash's video on R. Bruce Elliott's um, statement the, over the last couple of days here, um, you know, I was thinking back to Sammy's coverage of that as well as um, as well as um, some of the coverage behind. Um, Brittany Karbaski and some of the situations that came out, you know, some of the statements that came out just after the Dallas Morning News article that was that biased article that we all, that we all were noticing. Um, everybody knows about uh, about a couple weeks ago, Dallas Morning News came out with an article, totally biased, totally just giving just one side of the story in, in regards to, you know, just Monica and Jamie's story. And then in the aftermath of that, you start seeing people come out and make statements that were almost, um, they're almost all, they were almost, they were almost all identical, basically. Um, first it was J. Michael Tatum, who was basically praising the article and saying how he stands with, um, stands with Monica and Jamie, even though, he just a few years ago had said said that had called Vic a friend and had just and had even had stated that Vic had been totally supportive of of his of him and his husband. Um, you know, and then you know Brittany Karbowski came out made a statement in support of them. Um, and, and now we just most recently had our Bruce Elliott. Now, okay, first I'll kind of review. J. Michael Tatum, for those of you who don't know, of course, he's the voice of, um, he's the voice of Scar in Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, having taken over the role from, from, um, Damian Clark. Um, among others, he's Kiyoya in Oran High School Host Club. He's currently... Ida in My Hero Academia. Um, let's see, Brittany Karbowski. Um, probably some of her Mar Wendy Marvel from from Fairy Tale, Black Star from Soul Eater, Alba from Jinky Extend. Um, and then R. Bruce Elliott, most recently, of course, he was he was the guy who took over the voice of Ginru from from Bryce Armstrong after Bryce Armstrong retired in the, in the Dragon Ball and Kai and and Super, as well as um, he's also been um, King Yama and Yu Yu Hakusho, Richard Moore in Case Closed, among his other roles. So. Um, so why why now? Because these a lot of these guys have pretty much stayed quiet. A lot of these guys had pretty much uh, now way back early on. Of course, Michael Mike J Michael Tatum did make some statements in support of you know when Monica first came out with her initial statement saying how he supports the victims and stuff like that. Um, but um. But for the most part, they, J. Michael has, has stayed pretty quiet. Brittany had pretty much stayed quiet. Um, R. Bruce Elliott really, in fact, his his statement was probably the nicest of, you know, as Flash, but probably considered the most, ni the nicest of all the, you know, it's almost like he was trying to find that balance between, you know, between, um, because this this theory has been thrown out quite a bit, and I kind of and I kind of see where it may have some merit. Where, yeah, you're probably starting to see some of these Funimation voice actors come out and make statements because they're being pressured to. 
They're probably higher up um, at Funimation, probably most notably Chris Sabat, who are basically saying, hey, look, you need to come out and say something, and if you don't, we're not going to use you. That's extortion, by the way. You know, we just seem to keep seeing the same thing coming out where Funimation just proven more and more how just corrupt they really are. You know, I want to, just so it's not turning into some kind of dump fest on everybody at Funimation, I do want to praise, I do want to thank and praise those who have remained neutral and not said anything. I won't mention names so as to not have people putting any more pressure on you than it's probably already there. I think for your own benefit, for, the, for those of you who have yet to make a statement or are considering making a statement, I want you to think about something. There's a good chance Funimation is going to lose this case. And they're going to be, at the very least, a million dollars in the hole. So, in the end, you, this is something I think you all need to ask yourselves. The, both those who have already made statements and those who are considering making statements. Is remaining loyal to a corrupt company that might end up going bankrupt really worth it to you? Because even... Now, whether or not... Whether or not it's the case where fun, if you if you choose to stay your ground and do what's right and just stay out of it, stay neutral, and Funimation does choose to um, does choose to not use you, remember there are other companies out there who I'm who I'm sure would be glad to use you, be glad to hire you on. There's Sentai in Houston, there's Media Blasters in New York. I, I you know I recently did some. Some research and came to find out that Media Blast has been doing a lot of work. In New York, they've been using a mix of not just New York based voice actors, but they've been using a lot of Texas based voice actors as well. So, and there's always Bang Zoom as well. So, you have options. Don't feel like, don't let people at Fun, don't let the corrupt people at Funimation pressure you into making a statement that you know is wrong. Sometimes doing what's right is doing what's right is not always the easiest thing to do. But sometimes it is the be but many times it is the best thing to do. And yeah, you may lose work from Funimation, but again, there are other companies out there that I know, like Sentai, like Media Blasters, like Bang Zoom. Who would love to, who would probably love to have your talents would love to put your talents to work okay so just keep that in mind you know if, if whether it's Chris Sabat or Monica Rial or Jamie Markey or Sean Schemmel or Jamie McGonagall or whoever who, whoever is sitting there trying to pressure you into making a statement You know what's right. I think in I think for the most part in most of your hearts, you know what they're doing to Vic is wrong. And I know you're scared because you're afraid you're going to lose work. Well, yeah, you might lose work with Funimation, but why would you want to work for a corrupt company anyways? They're going to throw you under the bus. Like, I mean, they're throwing Vic under the bus. Especially considering the fact that, you know, this is going to be a big year for him with, with the Broly movie and stuff like that. And now, you really want to show loyalty towards a company that pretty much brought a blight on their house in, in that they fired probably one, probably one of the most popular voice actors in the industry, even more so now than before because you know customers are are basically unsubscribing to Funimation's um, 
streaming service left and right. You know, I'd almost have to argue that Funimation's a sinking ship. And are you, you really sure you want to stick around for that? Think about that, you know, because a lot of fans are upset. And contrary to what, like, what R. Bruce said, um, we have video evidence that Monica's lines and Jamie's lines are nothing. <laughs> okay, contrary to what that shows, you know, remember, R. Bruce Elliott's a 69-year-old man who probably gets, mostly gets old man and gruff. You know, old, older men roles, you know, a more of a special, he doesn't have quite the range like Vic or some of the other voice actors do, but he's, he's still, a, he's still a good actor nonetheless. He still does his job. Um, again, I just, I just, to those who've already said, said stuff, think about that. And to those who are, who are considering saying so, think about that. It may just be best for you right now to stay neutral. And I'm sure many of us who have been covering this on YouTube will respect your neutrality. Okay. That's why I've been, you know, what I will do, of course, is I, for those who I believe are staying neutral, I will promote you. I have a segment on Tuesdays now on, I just started it this week, where I'll be doing anime convention previews. And for those of you who stayed neutral, and those, I will support you. I will give you the shout outs. I will, you know, let people know, hey, you know, they're attending this con. Go say hi to them because you guys are good actors. This whole BS drama is it's really putting a major rift over in 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 a community that shouldn't have had to deal with this. But due to the, but due to the jealousy of a few, everybody has to suffer. You know what they say about apples and barrels, right? Just It just takes one bad apple to spoil the bunch. However, in this case, it's actually a handful of, of, of bad apples that's really stinking up the place. It's, it's a sh it, it is It is truly a shame that, like, R. Bruce and Brittany had to, and maybe even to a lesser degree, because I know J. Michael was saying stuff at the very beginning as well, but um, it's a shame that you guys feel that you have to make these statements to protect your livelihoods when there are other options. You don't have to, you don't have to be intimidated to do something that you know is wrong. So, you guys can check out the link below if you guys want to contact me directly. My um, Twitter handle will be down there. I'm also helping to promote a couple of anime companies, Fantasy Soft Entertainment and Phoenix Animation. You guys can check those out if you'd like. Um, also, I'm also promoting, of course, the GoFund, you know, Vic's GoFundMe and and um, Tug's Indiegogo. Um, as always, never feel pressured. Never feel like you have to give. If you can give and it's on your heart to do so, please consider giving. If you've already given, please consider giving again. And um, if you can't give, you can still help out by sharing the link. You know, it's always appreciated when you share the link and, and get help get the word out. And if you like this content, please consider liking, commenting, sharing and subscribing i always enjoy the conversations with you guys i always enjoy the back and forth as as long of course as it's respectful and as many of you know i will always reply back to you as soon as, soon as possible because i always love the back and forth you know 
whether you agree, disagree, or what have you. As long as, as long as we can keep stay civil about it, we're not at each other's throats. I always, I always enjoy the comments. You know, let's be respectful and let's keep like the nasty comments out. I, I know for the most, I know for those of you who still have comments up on my thing, um, you guys have been respectful, and that's why your comments are still there. Because any nasty comments, I will delete immediately. So, just uh, just so you understand that. And with that all being said, I you got let uh, let's remember to keep the conversation going because you're on the mic, and I'll see you on Monday. Bye.